looks very very nice we have the same engine as we have with the a45 we have 306 brake horsepower on that one no 45 for the sedans this thing sounds 100 times better than the 45 while driving you pick the A35 or the CLA35. Hello guys, I am back welcoming you all with this, the Mercedes AMG A35. And as you already see, this is not a normal A35. Here we have the Zidane version. First time here on our channel. And in today's video, we will be doing a walk around, showing you all the exterior features. Afterwards, we will be jumping inside to show you the beautiful interior. Last but not least, some driving, some sound checks for you and finish it all off with a resume. So let me talk about this car in specific. Here we have the A35 Zedan model. As you know, the A-Class has always been with the hatchback model. And now Mercedes extended their product range with uh, the A-Class Zedan model, which is very, very popular in the Asian, especially in Chinese markets. So this has been presented at the uh, Auto Beijing in 2018 in China. I also remember the press pictures back then. I'm going to show you a very cool color back then. And it's basically a normal A-Class when you look at the front, but the rear is special on that one. Then a few months after that, Mercedes AMG presented the a35 Zedan and the CLA35 Zedan. I'm also showing you a picture of that in dead and blue, I, I think, back then. And now here we have it in mountain gray metallic. We have the Aero package, we have the Nike package, and the extra wheel. So let's also talk about the performance. We basically have the same engine as we have with the A45, but with less brake horsepower, we have 306 brake horsepower on that one. As you know, the A45S model is pushing it to 421 brake horsepower, so there's a big drift difference. And there will be no A45 Zedan model, just the 35. No 45 for the Zedan, so we have the CLA Coupe as the only Zedan 45 models. So let's just start with the walk around and the front of this A35 Zedan. As you know, this is basically a normal A35 from the front. It's exactly the same. There's nothing uh, different to the hatchback model. As you know, here we have the A-Class specific headlights. These are the multi-beam ones. These are optional, uh, very looking nice. A-Class specific ones, the best you can get. Then continuing the front, here we have the twin bladed front grille, which I really love about the 35 models. Um, as you know, the latest 35 models, such as the GLB 35, already has the Panamericana. So we can already expect facelift A35 will have the same engine. So it's soon time to say goodbye to the good old twin bladed grille. So how do you guys like a double stripe here with the Mercedes-Benz Front Star 3D emblem plus the AMG badge on the left-hand side? Or would you think the Panamericana would suit the A35 more? Just comment that down below. As you know, we have the AMG line-specific front plus we have the Aero package flakes. As you see, these are finished in black gloss plus the extra Aero front Part. We have the intakes over here. Unfortunately, just plastic covers, but we still have this outtake over here. This all finished in black gloss, plus the exterior paint, really lovely. The front skirt finished in black gloss as well. That's something I didn't want to forget. We have the Mercedes-Benz front emblem, as well as the camera over here. So that's it basically for the front. How do you guys like it? It's basically nothing special, just normal A35. So now let's continue with the side of this A35 sedan. The wheelbase is not the same as we have with the hatchback. The sedan model is extended by six centimeters and which makes it more agile and sportier to drive. So let's just continue with the rims over here. 
we have the 19 inch multi-spoke AMG ones. These are not the stock ones. I'm going to show you the stock ones as well. These are the best you can get for the 35. In my opinion, really love these. Shoot the overall look. And if you go for the Nike package, I'm definitely recommending you all guys to get these wheels. Then we have the AMG brake calipers finished in gray amg engraved over there then we have the turbo formatic badge on the side as well the side mirrors all black the frames and the rear windows tinted which comes with the night package and as we have the keyless go package the door handles are finished in chrome so continuing here we have the rear wheels again 19 inch in the back amg engraved mercedes benz star in the center uh, we have the p0 pirelli tires and if you want i can show you the size we have it over here 235 35 zr19 for all of you that are interested in that now it's time to focus on the proper thing about the a-class and a35 sedan it's the rear just look at this for me it looks very very nice wow how do you guys like it now let's just focus on the azedan rear as you see here we have the azedan specific rear tail lights which have a completely different light design as you see most of you will be wondering yeah this looks very chinese and yes it does to match with the chinese customers i think as you know like in china they love to drive these compact sedan models such as the jetta it's the most selling car in china and mercedes has upgraded with the a-class sedan i also personally thought that it would be just available for the chinese market but they have also bought it to the european and american market as well so now let's continue with the rear as you see it looks very wide it's bulky it's very sporty especially with the aero parts here we have the amg emblem in chrome the mercedes star a35 badge as well then we have the rear spoiler which comes with the aero package finished in black gloss the diffusor as well as you see this is a 35 specific rear diffusor which is different as the stock one since we have the aero package full finished in black we have the exhaust tips and just one single one for the 35s uh, for the 45 mm models we have two of them so that's it basically for the walk around how do you guys like it honestly my personal favorite and highlight about this car is the rear honestly the front looks like too too childish and the rear is so sporty honestly now before we step in let me show you the key and here we, here we have it the mercedes amg specific key this comes with all 35 and 45 models doc really love this full finished in black and now it's time to unlock this car and step inside so now let me show you the interior but before we step inside let me show you the door panels as you see this is all finished in dynamica as you see with the red stitching and we have the wooden trim as well it's completely dark we have the Bormester sound speaker the amg entrance board the amg floor mat and the amg interior so let's just jump inside so now we are inside the a35 sedan model and as you see we have the beautiful amg steering wheel plus we have the beautiful amg seats which looks awesome as you know the steering wheel is optional we have the amg line steering wheel which is basically optional for the uh, 35 models let me just turn on the ignition and uh, here we have the amg steering wheel full finished in alcantara dynamica with the red stitching as you see then we have the 12 o'clock trim as well we have the steering wheel buttons i love them honestly you can change your driving modes here just by turning with slippery individual comfort sports sport plus and no ray since this is just a 35 model also on the left hand side these are just still the old models mg dynamics suspension everything you can change it over here so as you see we have the wooden trim all over the interior then we have yeah the piano black center which i'm not a big fan of but you know it's stock on all compact classes such as the gla the a class the cla literally on all of them as you know this is like the standard interior we have in all amg cars the compact cars 
they uh, all look the same, all have the same interior. And uh, as you also know, since this latest model, we have the uh, MBUX infotainment system, which we will start in here. I'm just skipping everything. You can basically use the touch display or the touchpad itself. So it's very easy and responsive. Something I really don't like, first is the piano. And second is this one. It's full finished in plastic. This is just a huge plastic part. Just look at this. I mean, you drive in AMG and then you still have like plastic interior parts, which feel very cheap. But never mind. We have the AMG race seats. Just look at them. Finished in black and red trim. As you see, the leather trim. Then we have the red stitching, Dynamica Plus black leather we have the amg badge as well plus red seat belts guys you know you know that's a real deal honestly the race seats plus red seat belts so that's basically for the interior let me now start up the car and we will be demonstrating you the sound of this beast okay let me just switch to comfort um, let me just switch to sport plus over here and now we will be starting this beast up and now Let me open the window. Now let's step outside and I will be demonstrating you the sound. So it's now time to start with the sound checks. We will be starting instantly with Sport Plus and demonstrating you the sound of this A35. So let's go. you hear you don't have any cracks pops or bangs but i will be promising you all this thing sounds 100 times better than the 45 while driving mark my words now we will be heading out and start the drive so let's go So now we are heading out. Um, as you see, we also have the beautiful panorama roof, as well as my favorite feature, the sunglass holder compartment. And uh, I promise you guys, honestly, this car sounds much better than the 45, which we have already driven. Uh, I'm going to prove you that while driving, not in a stand. Uh, so we will be now driving out and uh, doing some sporty drivings and more. Let me just convince you guys, this car sounds beautiful. Now we'll be entering a tunnel, switching to Sport Plus. It's time for some sound, let's go.
So that's it basically for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, as a resume, I have to say I really like the A Zidane, especially the 35 model. I'm not the biggest hatchback fan, so I would always prefer uh, the long wheel based one or the CLA. And if you consider to get a compact class AMG entrance AMG, then you have the option of the A35 and the CLA45. The A35 costs 48,000 in Germany and the CLA35 starts at 51,000. So there's just a price difference of 3,000 euros. So I'm not really sure which one I would pick. I would rather go for the CLA. What would you say? Would you pick the A35 or the CLA35? But all in all, I have to say, I am very surprised by the sound, especially the sound. Because we had the A45 a few weeks ago and I was disappointed. This really gives me hope in compact class segments and all the AMG cars. Honestly, the perfect entrance AMG for everyone who's planning to get a compact class a long wheelbase car. I can just recommend you all to go for the A35 or the CLA35, obviously, both very beautiful. A35, 35 sound, very nice. The performance is awesome. And uh, But if you go and take an A35 on CLA35, always go with the aero package so that's it basically from my point of view and i hope you all enjoyed watching just comment down below do you like it or not please subscribe to the channel support us there will be weekly videos uploaded on this channel so i hope you don't miss that one out wish you all a great day and looking forward to see you all again i will be back